Professor Peters uh, greeted you, it meant I have also greeted you. No protocol sent. <laughs> A few logistics. Towards the end, uh, we are going to light the candle. I'm going to be saying the seven statements that I selected that the old man said when he was alive. And in between that, we will be singing. If you're sitting next to a chocolate brown, just turn your direction so that they can get this. Oh, bless me now, my Savior, I come to thee. You're doing right. I, 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 I must thank uh, the choir because I never thought that pinkish people have a rhythm of moving. <laughs> child of apartheid and therefore my stereotype and gossip of the township still lives in me so you have taken it out and I thank God for you in the same way. I just want to read from the gospel of Luke the second chapter and I want to read verse 29 the gospel of Luke the second chapter verse 29 Lord, let thy servant depart in peace. Lord, let thy servant depart in peace. Now, I knew Nelson through a gentleman who likes wearing dress even though he's a man. <laughs> and I also wear dresses. The Archbishop Tutu. And in those occasions that we met, uh, Nelson would look at us and say, no, 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 uh, you Tutu, you call him Tutu, you Tutu, you are the only man who wear dresses while women are now changing wearing trousers. You are the problem. <laughs> and so you can never uh, live with him without parting with a joke. That was his life. In fact, he was a dancing president and a singing one. Let thine servant depart in peace. There were moments I wish I had a mind of God. When Madiba got so sick, I wonder what type of prayer he would pray. The Lord was saying, save him, keep him, and I wonder what he was praying. And so God realized that he needed to answer and extend. An old woman in, in the church in Alexandria, one Sunday, well, it's so nice to be in a chocolate brown church, because you can stand up and sing and the preacher must stop. <laughs> And then she said, I, I, I need to pray this. And then she said, God, in Kosa, you know, Kosa is so, so, it's near Africans. <laughs> it is Takata. <laughs> they were as a wooden pot, as Tamprati Africans. <laughs> and when you're in a township, when you're angry, you talk Kosa, even though know you're suit. <laughs> and he said, She's equal to God in the way that she speaks to God. <laughs> now listen to me. Just hold his life until his birthday. That night you can take him. Amen. And he says, continue. <laughs> now that's the beauty of worship. Where you will tell God when to do things and how to do things. And only grey-headed people. To do that, you will qualify with your great hand. <laughs> but we did not want him to depart. Somehow, we had our private agenda about him and not with and not even asking him 
what he needed at that time. He might have said, let thy servant depart in peace. When you say those kind of words, you place yourself as a child. And then you ask the Father, who created you so beautifully? You see, when God created you and I, he, I mean, it is God who enters into the womb and knits you so beautifully and then give the privilege to the parents. Now, township gossip is quite special. Now, in, in the township, we, we used to say that uh, Pinkish people always look into the dictionary to give their children's name. <laughs> so when, when, when we name a child, we go out, we look at the weather. <laughs> and when it rains, we say, Mabula, the mother of the day. Because we connect the child with the nature. Now the problem is, when you come to Mary Mabula, the mother of rain, the day you are celebrating, it rains because the weather comes back and bless her for being the mother of rain. That's the problem. Now if you come and you you're, you're are born, when we're burying somebody, they say cry. Now normally we give men these things because they don't cry too much and they die very quickly. So we give them that meaning. And each time you address them, they cry. When they graduate, they cry. When they're sick, they cry. They always follow the name of what they done. So when God created Nelson, he just created somebody angry at the beginning to fight apartheid and then at the end, he shaped him differently. Now, you don't know why men are jealous of women. We're jealous because you are co-creator with God. So we wish we could. You see, when you're the closer man, when you come up or you're the head, you must be the one who does things. Blessed be you. For the nation to be strong, if the women of South Africa can stand together, shape the way they raise their children, the rainbow nation will come alive. Amen. Let thy servant depart in peace. I think God has blessed us, extended his life. Some people who knew more than God were already telling us on the newspapers that he's died and they've put him in a refrigerator until that time. They know more than God. <laughs> when God is a God of human, a God of good creation. Now, Simeon, this man that we read the story about, needed some comfort. He was just waiting for that moment in which he could see the Savior of the world. Now, thank God, Nelson reminded us that he's not a saint, that he's a sinner. Now, let's not go around making him a saint more than Jesus Christ. He is just an ordinary sinner who strives to be good in the eyes of God. If we make him an icon of saving the world closer to Jesus Christ, then we have a problem. And we theologians will correct you and be careful. We may even tell you that you're not going to heaven, you're going to the other side. <laughs> now that's how we scare people. <laughs> the logical is not right. I'm just trying to make sure that you're going to the right path. <laughs> now I had a privilege. In 1992, arranged, 92 to arrange for uh, Nelson to receive the 96 doctorate in Atlanta. I was with Dr. Wembley, I was with the Martin Luther King's uh, Karate King. We're working on this, and, and he was going to come into Martin Luther King's home where he was born and then walk towards Ebenezer Church. And do you know how crazy Americans are? I think they were born on Wednesday when God was in good shape. So they, they, were, 
this young man kept telling us. You see, from that place to this is 40 minutes, and the old man must not deviate. And then he was showing us, we need to cut these trees and so on. I said, why the hell do you want to cut the trees? So that there's no sniper who could kill him. I said to him, they could have killed him long ago. Why would they kill him right now? He said, this is protocol. Now, when people want to be diplomatic, they say protocol. <laughs> then we cannot get more of the information. So, and, and he was so enthusiastic. And he was saying, I would begin to tell him how he's going to watch, how we're going to surround him and so on. I said, good luck. I said to him, good luck. He says, now, you need to explain to him in cross and all that. I said, I am not. You are going to. Because that's your dream. It's not my dream. <laughs> so we come and the old man comes. Now, those who know Nelson, Nelson said there are two things that he will not avoid. Firstly, is to see a child. He just walked out of the protocol and these, big, these people became so pinkish. And I started, I started saying, what's a father, but any human is <laughs> And then he just had, and then this young man said, time, they're waiting for you. We cannot be late. He looked at me and said, ah, oh, young man, uh, when were you born? He said, well, when, six days said, no. While you were still with God, I was on earth. <laughs> Sit down. They can wait for me. And he went kissing this child. And so the mother says, Are you the king of Africa? He said, Well, sometimes they call me that. I don't know what I am. And then he says, Well, if you are not bring my child. See, not knowing who was standing. He came among the low down trodden, and he looked like them, for he radiated the image of God. Where were you? If you had not met him personally, when Nelson walks into the room, the presence of God surrounds you. He's one of the few. I mean, the other, the other person who surrounded me with this kind of was Mother Teresa. When the short little woman walked in, the grace surrounded you. There are only a few people.